What is Cisco SD-WAN? Cisco SD-WAN is a software-defined wide area network solution that provides for secure stable connections to applications for enterprises and organizations. It is based on the Viptela OS architecture from Cisco's acquisition of Viptela, completed in 2017. Cisco SD-WAN uses Infrastructure as a Service, IaaS, Software as a Service, SaaS, Data Centers, and even the Internet to smoothly advance the move to a SaaS, Service Access Service Edge, based architecture. What are the Viptela SD-WAN components? The primary components of the Viptela SD-WAN architecture today are the following. vSmart Controller, it is the control plane of the SD-WAN system. Central management of routing, policy, security, segmentation, and authentication of devices. vManage, it is the management plane of the SD-WAN system. A centralized dashboard for configuration and management. vEdge routers, it represent the data plane of the SD-WAN system. Full-featured IP routers that perform standard functions such as BGPs, OSPF, access control lists, quality of service, and various routing policies in addition to the overlay communication. VBond Orchestrator, it is the orchestration plane of the SD-WAN system. Initial authentication and authorization of all elements into the network, provides the information on how each of the components connects to other components. VAnalytics, optional this is optional component. However, it is an instrumental component as it enables network and application visibility within the SD-WAN infrastructure. As a result, it can be used for network analysis, forecasting, and giving recommendations about traffic and WAN connections, allowing you to determine if you need to upgrade or downgrade your underlying WAN network. What is the difference between traditional WAN and SD-WAN? WAN stands for Wide Area Network. Traditional WANs mostly rely on dedicated multi-protocol label switching, MPLS, connections to provide secure, direct connections for reliable and efficient network traffic flow. SD-WAN stands for Software Defined Wide Area Network. It is a software-based technology that overlays onto an existing network. SD-WAN uses encryption and VPN for secure end-to-end -end network connections. List the common SD-WAN use cases. Simplified service availability. Direct internet access. MPLS replacement. WAN performance optimization. Quality of service. Forward error correction and packet duplication. TCP optimization. Multi-cloud connectivity. Security. Does SD-WAN support APIs? Yes, SD-WAN supports APIs. The vManage works on APIs. Does the Cisco SD-WAN solution support multi-tenancy? Yes, Cisco SD-WAN solution support multi-tenancy. The only controller that's not advised to do multi-tenancy, having its own VM or server is the vSmarts, separate control plane for each customer. What does it mean if there is a DCAN fail or a DTLS connection failure? Probable causes include firewall or some other connectivity issues. It is because of the connectivity problem between vEdge and controllers. What is ZTP process? ZTP stands for Zero Touch Provisioning. It is a method of setting up devices that automatically configures the device using a switch feature. It is an automatic provisioning process which starts when the vEdge router is powered up for the first time. The vEdge will attempt to connect to a ZTP server with the hostname ztp.viptila.com, where it will get its vBond orchestrator information. Which protocol is used to check the loss, latency, and jitter of the tunnel between the vEdge peers? BFD, Bidirectional Forwarding Detection, protocol is used to check the loss, latency, and jitter. What is a domain ID? Domain ID is a logical classification of vEdge routers and vSmart controllers. It defines the span of control for a vSmart controller. Each domain is known by a unique integer called the domain ID. What is site ID? A site is a specific physical area in the Viptela overlay network, for example, 
a branch office or data center or even a campus. The site is identified with a Unicode number, known as the site ID. Every Viptela device that is located at a specific site is identified using the same site ID. Which problem can a Cisco SD-WAN overcome? Establish a transport-independent WAN for high diversity and low cost. Meet service level agreements, SLAs, for business critical and real-time applications. Provide end-to-end -end segmentation for protecting critical enterprise compute resources. Extend seamlessly into public cloud provide optimal user experience for SaaS and IaaS applications. What is OMP? OMP stands for Overlay Management Protocol. Cisco SD-WAN uses a proprietary control plane protocol called OMP. It is very similar to BGP in that it's a TCP-based extensible protocol that SD-WAN uses to advertise routes and policies. The default behavior of OMP is to allow a full mesh topology, but we can change that through policies. What is Cisco SD-WAN DA? DIA stands for Direct Internet Access. DIA can help solve these issues by allowing internet-bound traffic from a virtual private network, VPN either all traffic or a subset of traffic, to locally exit the remote site. DIA allows control of internet access on a per-VPN basis. What is TLOC? TLOC stands for Transport Locator. It represents an attachment point where a Cisco WAN Edge device connects to a WAN transport. Each TLOC consists of a set of attributes that are exchanged in OMP updates among the Viptela devices. How we manage data plane and control plane in the Cisco SDWAN solution. Data plane is on to the devices itself, but control plane is now decoupled from the devices and are controlled by vSmart. The decision of data plane traffic is done by vSmart using the protocol OMP. While the real data plane traffic between the V-edges are using IPsec tunnels. What attributes are configured to uniquely identify and represent a TLOC route? Attributes are system IP address, link color, and encapsulation. What is QoS? QoS stands for Quality of Service. It is defined as a measurement of the overall performance of telephony, cloud, or computer network services and the tools technologies that guarantee the network's ability to run high-priority operations. Can you explain the SD-WAN topology? A topology usually consists of two sites and two public transport technologies such as MPLS and LTE. The SD-WAN controllers, the vSmart controllers and the vBond orchestrator along with vManage are reachable through these transport technologies. Each site consists of vEdge routers that are directly connected to available transport technologies. Color represents an individual WAN transport. The vEdge routers make a Datagram Transport Layer Security, DTLS, or Transport Layer Security. The vEdge routers of one site securely connect with the vEdge routers of the other site with IPsec tunnels. Different WAN transports are given different colors. This means different color for MPLS, LTE, business internet, etc. The BFD protocol allows the detection of path failures or any loss.